everybody, it's John DeYoung, and today we're going to talk about sarcopenia, which is age-related loss of muscle mass. Not weight loss, but actual lean muscle mass loss. So why is this? Um, and I'm also talking about your normal average person who either works out a little or not at all. Why is it that we lose muscle mass as we age? Here's a simple answer. The process of protein turnover or protein synthesis in our bodies as we get older, that efficiency goes down, okay? That's as technical I'm gonna get. So even if you don't work out, our bodies maintain the muscle we already have uh, through a continuous process of replacing all the proteins in all our cells in an ongoing basis all the time, okay? So basically, our cells, or the proteins in all our cells are turning over on, on an ongoing basis. Uh, muscle protein turnover, liver protein turnover, uh, collagen protein turnover. We turn over about 300 grams of protein in our bodies each day, okay? So in order to make that happen, we need to feed our bodies protein in order for the, the protein process of protein turnover to be efficient. But like I said before, that process slows down as we age. And a big contributing factor to that is not getting enough protein in your diet at each meal. Studies have shown that if you give an older person uh, more protein, you can make their protein turnover look just look like that of a younger person, okay? So uh, the absorption may slow down, the, the, uh, that kind of process may slow down, but the response is still there, okay? So guess what the good news is? <laughs> you gotta get out there and eat. Um, the average American male daily protein intake is 90 grams and for women sadly it's 70 grams That is way too low, especially as we get older um, And this may not entirely be your fault because the uh, recommended daily allowance of protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight uh, Where it should actually be 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight and even if you're slightly active to active that should be brought up to about 1.6 to 2.2 grams of kilogram, uh, grams per kilogram of body weight. So I'm 59 years old, I weigh 180 pounds, that's about 82 kilograms, times that by 2.2. Um, I also train regularly, so mine's slightly a little higher. I am 59 though, but the way I train, I do need uh, even a little more protein to, not only for protein turnover, but protein synthesis of the muscle that I'm breaking down when I train. So that's about 180 grams of protein per day. So that's about 60 grams per meal if I'm having three meals, um, 45 grams per meal if I'm having four meals. So it's really important to calculate your daily protein intake per meal and eat it. <laughs> it's pretty good homework. And it's really important not to eat it in dribs and drabs throughout the day because your body, it doesn't register anything under probably 10 grams of protein. So those little snacks you're having throughout the day are not really helping you. I'd rather you break it down into three to four meals and eat the bulk, uh, uh, you know, of your, your, you know, mine's what, 45 grams of protein four times a day. Um, don't forget a chicken breast is up there, a burger's up there, like a, a regular size burger. So that's important to know. So, so basically if you're having like something around 10 grams of protein, eight grams of protein is something called a uh, first pass metabolism of protein, where about 50% of that uh, is degraded to nitrogen and carbon even before it hits your bloodstream, okay? So don't do that, okay? So your homework is to eat and choose your protein wisely. Go easy on the saturated fats. Google a list of proteins that you like and you'll get their protein content. Um, you just wanna make sure you're getting, you know, your proper amount each meal, it's really important. And I know it's really hard to try, but you gotta get your breakfast protein up there. Those levels should be really strong. You shouldn't be skimping on those levels of protein because think about it, you're, you're breaking a fast from your overnight sleep. So it's really important to load up uh, and get a, a lot of that protein in there to get your body, you know, feeding that protein, turnover protein synthesis, okay? Also, it's important to bookend your protein intake at the end of the day with a really strong dinner since you'll be fasting all night long until breakfast, okay? So I want to make it short. Eat your protein. You're going to lose lean muscle as we get older. I'm almost 60. Okay, it's really important to, to get your protein each meal. Uh, break it up three to four times. 
I mean, it's a great thing to have. I mean, we're just asking you to eat more protein. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Okay. Thanks a lot. Take care.